Hey, where every time I die, you're watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. We first got hooked up with the military from our friends in the band Collective Soul. Uh, the lead singer, Ed Rowland, called me one time and he said, Alan, this was the most amazing thing I've ever experienced. You need to do this, and I'm going to do everything I can to, to make sure you experience this. And it's not about politics, it's about people. These are Americans out there who are doing this job. And regardless of whether we like the way the outcome is, or we like why they're there, we're still our own citizens that we all owe a responsibility to. And so it's a small thing for us to do is to go and visit with them and really see what's going on and play you know, for the troops. We're crying out loud, we're going to Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. That's a place I'm not so sure I thought I would ever be. It's cold and rainy and where we're going it's going to be warm and sunny. High tech labeling system. That's a tough rock and roll band right there. Pink. Pink and love of pink. It's pretty early in the morning, in case you're wondering. Here we are on our way to uh, NES Atlanta to catch a VIP shuttle down Woo! to Gitmo. I followed you down for the last time. You have been dismissed. Won't be around to save you from the lifetime that you missed. Your eyes shut so tight, nothing left to fight about. The journey begins. Another adventure. Yeah, the Summer in the Sandbox tour. We flew out, we uh, had a little stop in Amsterdam on our way to Kuwait, and uh, we went from Kuwait to Qatar, Bahrain, Djibouti in East Africa. We did three shows in Iraq and the United Air Emirates. And it's pretty down and dirty. You know, we slept in tents. We saw rats, you know, you had to walk down the path to, to go to the bathroom. It was uh, unbelievably hot. We ate in the chow halls, my favorite being uh, the Bob Hope Chow Hall in Djibouti, which was just too cool. The main difference between, let's say, playing a military show or playing in a club somewhere is the level of appreciation. On bases, especially outside of the U.S., where entertainment is not so easy to come by, I think people can be a little more appreciative. So there's an energy right there from the first song that gets us charged up, which ramps them up, which ramps us up even more. Here to rock one time, no bangs. Booyah! Through you a line, you let go of the 